Hello again. Today I want us to learn how to create uh, a grid over a map that is uh, grid lines on a map that uh, is already created. And then we want to create a grid of that map to know where each coordinate passes or where each point can be located by using a grid line along the map that has been created. So without wasting much time, we clip the a file a data and, and got this map out of it so what we are doing now is you go to discover go to map grid and then you go to map grid again and here uh, we have the coordinates that has been selected and is being used for this map that is the coordinates that will be used to display the grid however if you want to change uh, the coordinate format you can change the coordinate formats here we have all the coordinates for longitude latitude utm universal traverse makita extended traverse makita all of it is here so whatever format that you want it you can choose it and it will be displayed for you so we want to work with what we are having now or I can choose a, a different one by going to UTM Universal Traverse Makita WGS 84 I mean zone 30 Northern Hemisphere zone 30 Northern Hemisphere okay and then with this selected I can choose the spacing Maybe I want the spacing to be each 100 meters. That is the spacing between the eastings and between the eastings, and then the spacing between the northings. I can choose that as the grid spacing. And then we have grid styles. We have the lines, the points, the edges, and we will show all of this. And you can place your labels in mask polygon outside the map frame. You can do that one as well. You do this one for us to all know how it is done and then uh, the label size uh, the font type and everything how you want the labels to be placed you would want your labels to be placed on the left and the top or you want it to be placed on all the four sides four sides of uh, the map this all can be done so let's with this one select, let's look at how the line will be when you use let's put pull this one aside and see how the line will be and when you choose lines you can choose preview to see you choose preview this is how it has been created uh, the gradient is too much uh, closer to each other so we have to maybe enlarge it let's, let's make it thousand so preview Yeah, this is the grid, uh, grid format that we are having. This thousand, you can see it here. It has also been shown. The northern and the eastern has been shown. Uh, this is how we call the lines. The lines is a, a thick lines that runs northwards and then not southwards and then east, westwards of the map. So that is it. Let's look at the points. Then yeah, let's click on preview. This will only show the points where two easterns and northerns coincide with the labeling at the top and east or west of it. So this is it. This point will show. This point means that uh, this value, this point is a point for this value and then this value. That is where they meet. And we can do the edge ticks as well. Let's do the preview. The edge ticks. That is it. So, because uh, the edge ticks, there will be nothing that will be showing on the map, but there will be a tick on the borders of the map with the values of the eastern or the northern that you are working with. There will be a tick along it. Now, let's see if we want to place a our labels 
in a mass polygon so let's click on preview so this is it uh, our labels has been placed around another mask polygon around the original map that we are having that is it we can also choose to remove that one as well and then we will tell our map that we want it to be shown on all the edges of the map so let's do on the preview so the UTM or the coordinates has been shown on all the four sides of the map this is how it is done this is just uh, how we create a grid by using this method so when you see all is said and done you click uh, ok now by clicking on ok we can uh, move you can move the values closer to the map and delete certain uh, grid files that are not needed now so we can go here we make it editable go to select delete delete these ones out this falls out of the boundaries of the map you can delete them then you bring you bring your values closer you can then bring your values closer to the map just as that uh, as you are going to show a different method of doing this without touching the values it will just be created with the values right at the edges of it we'll be learning that one as well i want us to know all the details of it so we can uh, beat around it when we are having a problem or two so that is it you can move all the points to four right at the edges of it so with all that we get a map like this with the grid and these values associated associated with it all written on top of that grid so when all is said and done we get a map like this with this grid values associated with it so this is how we create a grid files with this name attached to it as i said earlier on as you're going for we'll be learning how to uh, create a grid and these are seated values without touching the values itself it will just be placed where it ought to be placed thank you so much and have a nice